Pool boys, have you ever considered learning how to swim or developing your stroke with the use of a pool boy? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about using a pool boy. So, my name is Nathaniel and I'm the swim specialist. I am your go-to guy for all your swimming needs. And I specialize in teaching people how to swim through the use of video. My vision is to teach over 5,000 people how to swim and you can help me achieve that number by clicking subscribe below. If you want to get your very own pool boy, make sure that you go to the description and you can get yours today. In today's video, I'm gonna show you six ways that you can learn how to swim with the use of a pool boy. And it's gonna help beginners, intermediates, and advanced swimmers. Pool boy, what is a pool boy? Some of you might have never seen these before. So if it's your first time, they are foam objects which you can place between your legs, which will allow you to concentrate on your arm actions and your breathing when swimming. In today's video, I'm gonna show you six ways that you can use these. Now the advantages of using the pool boy, number one, they are very practical, so you can put them in your swim bag and pop down to your local pool or even put them in your suitcase when you are going on holiday. Number two, they are very safe, so they are just made out of foam, they are not a choking hazard and if you do throw it across the pool and it hits somebody, it's not going to hurt them. Number three, it does make swimming fun because it switches it up and it allows you to concentrate on what you actually want to develop. Sculling with a pool boy. Now the key points here are to squeeze your legs together when you place the pool boy between your thighs. This will allow your legs to float and allow you to concentrate on the movement pattern with your hands. The outcome will be that you understand the principles of pushing and pulling the water away. We can do head first sculling and feet first sculling. Somersaults with a pool boy. Once you have developed the movement pattern with your palms and fingers, we can now progress this into somersaults. So the key points here are to make sure that your knees are tucked up to your chest. Your chin is down to your chest, so you are in a small, compact ball position. Now, if you rotate your hands backwards, you can roll yourself forwards. And if you throw your hands forwards, you should be able to do a backwards somersault. Front crawl with a pool boy. So this is very traditional. Now I'm going to make it a little bit more suitable for you guys as viewers. If you want to make it easy, place the pool boy between your thighs. If you want to make the difficulty medium, place it between your legs. And if you want to make it really hard, place it between your feet. All you're going to do is practice your front crawl and you can work on your arm actions and your breathing to the side. The key point is just to squeeze that pool boy together and stretch those arms when entering and gliding. Backstroke with the pool boy. Exactly the same, choose your difficulty and place the pool boy in whichever position you would like. Now the pool boy will isolate your legs, allowing you to focus on the perfect backstroke arm action. So the key points are every time you use your arms, just remember to reach and pull. Your thumb should come out of the water first and your little finger should enter the water next. Your hands should be at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock and move in a continuous action. Breaststroke with a pool boy. Choose your difficulty that is suitable for you. And this time the key point is to make sure we emphasize our breaststroke arm action and the breathing technique. You're gonna to have to pull the water stronger and stretch those arms further so you can actually excel and accelerate yourself forwards without the use of a breaststroke leg kick. Butterfly with a pool boy. This will allow you to isolate your legs and just focus on your arm action. Now if you are doing butterfly for the first time, you should start with your hands together, with your thumbs touching, and you create the letter W. Then pull the water down to your pockets and throw your arms over the water. Remember the key points are to use your shoulders to rotate forwards, and then your little fingers should come together before you stretch under the water. So what I've shown you today is six ways that you can learn how to swim or develop your stroke technique with the use of a pool boy. Remember, if you haven't got yours already, go in the description, click the link and you can get yours today. 
If you've enjoyed today's video and you've liked my delivery, make sure that you give me a like so YouTube can recognize my channel and help me share it with others. I would love to hear your experience with the pool boy, so make sure you do that in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, click subscribe so you can join my squad and help me achieve my mission of having 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Now there will be a video on your left, so give that a watch and learn more.